Okay, close your eyes. I was very scared because I'm um, imagining myself in hospital. There's no family of mine, nothing. Um, uh, hospital is not a very nice place to be. It's my first time to, to lay in hospital for this for a long time. We've got a lot of patients who've got very sick livers and then yet there's very few liver specialists. We only have um, Cape Town in the state as a dedicated hepatology unit. So I thought, you know, I'm needed there and I, I don't regret. I get tired because as you can see, my liver is so big. It's difficult even to stand up to go and have a bath. So the liver, it's, it's, it's a... Um, I don't know. The relationship you create with them and, you know, and the, the connection, it's, it's amazing, you know. You start off with someone walking in and thinking, is this the doctor, you know, because people still have that. Then she comes, then I said, no, I'm waiting for Dr. Kokela. I never do. <laughs> she, then she said, yes, I am Dr. Kokela. At that time, she was not a consultant. She was a registered doctor. So Discovery funded me to train in South Africa and to spend a year at MGH in the best institution in the world. I got to meet the people that I read about. So I, I think my path has long been made and just, yeah. So I'm just going to feel your tummy, OK? Mm. You must let me know if there's any place that is pain. You, you know, when, 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 when a child sees her mother, it, it, that feeling, knowing that somebody I belong to is there next to me, because she knows that what I was going through, it was, it was painful, but then she was there. She did amazingly well. I mean, we have many success stories, mm. but unfortunately, we've lost a few people from her condition. So she's one of the, you know, the lucky ones. You cry, you laugh, you smile, you go through emotions, your patience, you know. They try to manage the process, but I, 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 the liver on its own, it's not getting better now. Because, but I'm in the process of going for a transplant. It's not easy. Sometimes you, 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 you wait and wait and wait then. Patients who, who have chronic medical problems, you know, they, they're different. So she's taught me quite a lot. And, you know, it's people like her that actually teaches us as well how to be, to be strong. I would like to say thank you to all those who just dedicated their time to to us as patients. I think you're the strongest one in this one, Lungelo. I think I think you are amazing.